Hi, this is Dave, and today we're going to be looking at how to set up and install Tractor Pro 3. This video is aimed at people who are just getting into Tractor and have bought Tractor Pro 3 for the first time. The first thing we need to do is install Native Access. So we go over to Native Access website, and I will include this link below, and you can download it for Mac and Windows. You'll also need to create an account with Native Access itself, so you can do that by clicking here. Once you've done that, we're going to go over and we're going to install the product. Now, I've already installed mine, but hopefully you'll know how to do yours. It's just in your downloads, double click and unpack it. Then we go to Applications and we're going to go to Native Access. Once you get to this page, click on Not Installed and you'll notice that Tractor Pro 3 will be in there. All you have to do is click the Install button, which will be around here. Once that's installed, you can go to install products and mine is all the way down here uh, tractor pro 3 there you go and it says the full version and you can use this to reinstall if you so wish once you get to this you can click on this part and then you get your serial number your installation path and also if there's been any updates recently once you've done all that you can close native access and go to applications again excuse my mess of an applications folder Go to Native Instruments and then find Tractor 3 and it will be here. And then you can click and drag into the dock. But as I've already got mine in there, that's it. So we're now ready to use it. Click your Tractor 3. Now it may ask for an installation path. Just click OK so it routes it all properly for you. So this is Tractor Pro 3. It's looking very sleek and I'm going to go through some preferences with you so you can get started. And in order to get that, um, if yours isn't full screen, click on these four arrows here and then we're going to click on the cog wheel here. In audio setup, this is the place to look if you don't get any sound from your tractor. So we're going to go to audio device and this is the built in. This is the internal speakers of your computer. You can select it and in here, if you've got an S2 Mark III, an S4 Mark III or any other controller with a sound card, you'll be able to see it in here and then you can select it. I'm going to click that because I'm recording at the moment. Once the audio device is set, you should be good to go. So if we close that, we can click our iTunes, which will automatically be defaulted to your iTunes on your computer. If you don't use iTunes and you use something else, then you can go to Preferences and you can go to File Management and change iTunes Music Library to whichever one you want. But I leave it as that. It's entirely up to you. So all we need to do to load up a track is we can either click, hold and drag up or we can right click it and then we can load into whichever deck we want. If you don't need four decks to start off with, what I would suggest is go to preferences, go to decks layout and click show C and D. So therefore we can only see two tracks and then we're good to go. So if I press play, I can skip around. <laughs> And there we are. This was just a quick video to show you how to set up, install and get going with Tractor. I'll be doing a lot more videos coming up in depth on the preferences and the GUI and everything else. But just a little tip, if you do want to learn more, I advise if you go to Cogwheel, Global Settings and then Show Tool Tips, if you hover over something now, it will give you a description of what it is. It's a great way to learn and you'll know when you don't need it anymore because it will start to get on your nerves. <laughs> so for now, enjoy creating and playing and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.